Yahoo! Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, fellow radiators of love, to Astro Phoenix, flying into the moment yet again and radiating love as always. And welcome, Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising, or for anybody who just wants to hang out with the Libra tribe, the vampires of the zodiac. Welcome to your August 2019 report. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Uh, hopefully y'all don't get upset about being vampires. I know some people are cool about being vampires, but some people be like, I'm not a vampire. I'm like, yeah, Libra, you kind of are. But it's okay. It's a good thing. Anyways, welcome to this uh, report. I hope that you all enjoy this. Hope you gain some type of clarity. Thank you so much for joining me once again and for all your wonderful support. And we have some cards here for you all. I'm going to be drawing a card for each week of the month as well as an overall tarot card. And I also have two oracle cards to accompany that. Astrologically, though, we do have the sun in Leo this month for a good portion of the month. This is for you, your 11th house of, uh, you know, communication, society, uh, this, you know, innovative quality, your genius kind of energy. What's cool about you, Libra, is that since Leo is your 11th house, you have knowledge of love. Like, you have all the knowledge of love. This is in many ways why you roll partnerships and relationships. In many ways why we seek out love through partnerships and relationships. But, you know, sometimes, you know, we have challenges and we trip up because we forget that, you know, it's not really about this external reality. It's not about what we see many times. You know, we have, we have to be honest with ourselves about, you know, what we're attracted to physically. But really when it comes down to it, it's this inner quality. And Libra, you have knowledge of that. With the sun moving, with the sun in your 11th house, it will be moving into Virgo later this month as well. So this is going to be for you, your 12th house. So this is going to be interesting. And these days are going to start to shift into your 12th house. You know, Venus will be coming in there soon. Your ruling planet, you know, we'll have Mars coming in there. We also will have Mercury right at the tail end of the month, which means that Mercury is going forward. Yes, Mercury, the planet of communication, the mind is moving forward. It has been in Cancer, your 10th house been very intense this mercury retrograde but now it's going forward it will be coming out of shadow in leo at five degrees around the time of the full moon in aquarius so this is going to be cool that's you know your fifth house so with that aspect in your fifth house and then with the sun and the natural fifth house this definitely will be a very fun month for you libra let's see what else we have going on though for you let's get these cards out Ooh. All right, Libra, Libra, Libra. The first oracle card that we have for you is Jupiter. Jupiter. Jupiter, yes, that's right. The ruler of Sagittarius, Jupiter is retrograde, but it will be coming direct this month. I'm pretty sure Jupiter's coming direct this month. It is coming direct this month, which is nice. You know, Jupiter retrogrades aren't even really bad. It's just that whenever we go to Jupiter, we go to Zeus and we ask for something, Jupiter kind of, he doesn't really do it directly himself. He kind of sends like other people and his underlings to do things for us. But Jupiter will be coming direct in Sagittarius this month. This for you is your third house. So it's like you're going to start to receive these very inspirational and motivational ideas. Some of you may start to be thinking about your higher education. Some of you may be thinking more about travel. Um, it's going to be almost like you're almost going to be able to think farther. You're going to be able to actually move farther when uh, Jupiter comes forward. It's still going to be in shadow, but the fact that it'll be coming online is very powerful. But this is saying that, you know, you really can have this expansive, beautiful quality. And what's cool about Jupiter, too, is that... Jupiter is very much so a very feeling energy in Sagittarius. A lot of people like to think that Sagittarius isn't very emotional or all the fire signs for, for that matter, but you can feel heat. But what's cool about Jupiter is that since it's the biggest planet, it has a great deal of influence on us and on the other celestial bodies. Jupiter has the most moons of any planet. So there's a lot of satellites here. Um, there's a lot of, you know, Jupiter is accompanied by a lot of angels. So what this is saying is that really reach out this month because as these energies move into your 12th house, really reach out to your guides. Really reach out because your guides are here to help you along this journey. For your first card we have, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. The Eight of Cups is one of those cards where it's like it really is time to move on and move forward. 
But with it being in reverse, you're going to be kind of feeling like you can't necessarily move forward. But I'm feeling that even more so that you should move forward. I know I just said move forward a lot. Keep moving forward. Eight of Cups is saying that, you know what? The past is the past, but, you know, you can look at it upright. You know, there are still, what is it, five cups that are standing upright. There are still five cups standing upright, and there are three that have fallen over. But you can see how he's looking out. He's, like, in the middle of, like, some meadow in the mountains there, and he's looking out, and the moon is bright. And so the full moon for you is probably going to be very, very powerful just because you drew this card. But it's, like, you're ready to move forward and to, like, look towards new greater and bigger things with five cups that are see now that it's reversed in this reading i'm almost feeling like it's the five of cups that is it says it's integration of the five of cups and the three of cups at least in this deck so the five of cups normally denotes some type of loss but the three of cups denotes celebration with it being reversed it's flips it's almost like there's not really a loss, or you've accepted the loss, but the Three of Cups is celebration. So the Eight of Cups here, like the net energy I'm feeling, is celebration. Celebrating that things, well, you may look back into the past and be like, wow, I'm glad it happened that way. I'm glad it didn't work out that way. Because you have, you were set up, you can see now that it sets you up for where you are right now, which you are in a greater, higher position. Your next card that we have is the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So you have to release this resistance to, in many ways, you have to release this resistance to the past. Release this resistance to what happened before so you can allow the healing to come through. We also have the Five of Wands upright. So some of you may be dealing with some drama this month. You know, with the sun being in Leo in your 11th house, this definitely can be a drama-filled month for you, potentially especially online and social media so libra i would be wary about getting into unnecessary political arguments online although libra i know you like to do that <laughs> but the five of wands is saying that there may be some sort of like there may be some tension this month when it comes to that but we also have the queen of pentacles in reverse as well so we got three reverse cards and one upright card so what's going on here is that like you know when you when you put this crap behind you when you put this crap behind you all of these other energies become upright. So it's almost like you're ready to move forward with the Eight of Cups. You are, you know, you're finding your security and your comfort. And you're grounding yourself with the Four of Pentacles. And then with the Queen of Pentacles, you are, this can be an Earth sign. So this could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. I'm feeling more Taurus energy because even though the sun will be coming into Virgo, I think Virgos are going to be more so like an example for you, but the person that you may be dealing with may be a Taurus because, you know, Venus does rule you and it also co-rules Taurus as well. So I think it's really important because Venus will be coming into your 12th house. So the Queen of Pentacles is saying that there's going to be this sort of spiritual connection that you get back to the earth and really starting to fill into your value and actually receiving yourself, receiving these great compliments. So this will be another powerful month. Uh, every month is powerful to do this, to, you know, do positive affirmations and stuff like that, especially in the morning, first thing we wake up, or even write down positive affirmations down and then put them under your pillow before you go to sleep. That would be another very powerful thing for you to do, too, especially as all these energies are moving into your 12th house, which does rule dreams. So I would recommend that you, and I'm going to do this, too. I'm not a Libra sun. I do have Venus in Libra, so I feel like I can, you know, I can do this, too. But write, actually, your intentions or even just write positive affirmations and put them under your pillow before you go to sleep. And then see how your dreams play out. And keep a dream journal, too, because there is this sort of, like, connection back to um, the earth in many ways here. And then for your final tarot card, we do have the hanged man. So there's a sense that really it's like there's a sense of trust, this radical trust in the universe. And it's almost like, yeah, you may experience some conflict with people, like I said, especially over the internet. So you want to be wary of that, of course, <laughs> and not necessarily get into petty arguments with people online because a lot of times it's like, it's almost going to be like you're wanting to share love, too. I think that's really what it is, because with the sun in your in Leo, your 11th house, and then we get this card, it's like, I'm feeling like, it's like you're wanting to share love and stuff like that, but you may not necessarily have the greatest approach, and you may be shining your light into and onto places and people that aren't deserving of it. I'm just going to be blunt and honest. They're not deserving of it, because they don't appreciate it. 
But if you sh decide to shine your light on people and places that do appreciate you, that do resonate with you, you're going to be feeling great. So it's like, this is just trust that things are going to work out in your favor. And that abundance is here. You drew Jupiter. You know, Jupiter is going to go direct in your third house. So it's like, yeah, you're definitely wanting to communicate these big ideas and these big passions and these big goals and dreams. And some people may not get it. And not everyone's going to get it. And that's okay, Libra. That's okay. For your final card, woo -hoo 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 -hoo. realization. Yeah, you're coming to a realization this month, Libra. The frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth, as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in this world. This is all of these energies in your 11th house moving into your 12th house. And it's what's great about it, it says heart-centered truth. Leo rules the heart. And the sun, which rules Leah, will be moving from your 11th house into your 12th house. You are going to have an epiphany and a realization on where you need to be and where you need to. Your message is going to reach people, even those that don't resonate with it. But you really do not want to focus on those people. Just focus on being you and your authentic self and the right people will come. That is it for your reading, Libra. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Make sure you hit the bell to receive all the notifications that I put out on this channel. We have a lot of fun here, and I want you to be a part of the fun. And if you would like a personal reading with me, beloved, you can follow the link in the description below too, astrophoenix.com. And as always, my beautiful brothers and sisters, always remember to keep moving forward, to stay focused, and... Yahoo! Smile often.